Good morning, mister. I imagine you got your work cut out for you around here. Uh-huh. So, please, don't let me keep you. So long. Morning. I can vote. Good morning. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, ah, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Good morning, dear. You're walking away from yeah, history, you Monsieur. fools! Women and men both deserve to decide the future. This is meant to be the land of liberty? But somehow, I am not free to vote? Who says that? Look me in the eye and tell me I am not the equal of any man you ever met. Hello, sir. Bonjour. I have to say, life is pretty good. Ah, ça fait plaisir à entendre. Well, let's hope it continues, huh? Au revoir. Hello, sirs. Good morning, mister. Hello Thank there. You. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. You should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him. I say that's the state of Lamar over, over here. here, America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and hey, can I get a drink here? Ooh. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I'll now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. 
soldier. Mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> well, Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, hey, friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Point that thing. really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Lucky for him, he didn't have a... Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? 
I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little bit of shit. Get going. He's coming after us. Yeah, yeah. Get back here. went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tales. I am. Bob's around so much. <clears throat> Couldn't even read the newspaper. Remember when they had to bring him? Ain't you tired yet, old man? Stole him 95. Couldn't get the eyes off the truck. Hey! Half of them up. Good morning to you. Anyway, I have to go. Madam! Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Howdy! Jesus! This is fun, mister. I like you. Sleeping next to the pig again. Good morning. Thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend. 
But that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> ah. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. <sighs> <sighs> Tight around here. Over here. Where have you been? Getting robbed. Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Buenos dias, senor.
ma'am. Uh, hola, señor. Out of the damn Please way. Good morning, mister. Good morning, mister. Watch yourself. Buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Look out. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <clears throat> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm, that too. That too! <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. If no one else will buy me a drink, I will go. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. 
But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Good morning. It's just through the market, there to the left. Come and get us. Hello there. Hello there. Oh, is there something else? Good morning to you. Hey, partner. Oh, hell, the missus had me out. Hunting damn near every day. Wants to sell enough highs to send the kid to school. Hey, kid. Thank you. Really? Hey there, kitty. Buenos dias. Things over there, uh, something for the wife, maybe. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Well, you just let me know if I can help at all. much back there I'm afraid of just a few old books something don't seem right so, who's back here what are you doing back looks there? like this pulls out or something Pull. how about you open that door door what door the hidden door 
or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door, now. Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. I'm really not a bad man. Oh, hello? Shh, gadgete, gadgete. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. ¿Quién eres? Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. Be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend, Arthur, Arthur Morgan. Come on, you were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my, that's, well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that, they're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come, let's go get something to eat. Manger, comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh, yes, thank you, I, uh, here. Payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Yeah. Anyone for the market district? This is 
Okay, buddy. Oh. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. Toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betrayed. And not paid the money to. Yes! He told to shit, man! So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, chante. My hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. They can miss the explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, 
Imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well... I'm not sure about that. It's a small boat. Those mines are not so small. There. All gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now, bring the boat back to the dock. Look out, look out! <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of harm. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us. And funding from you, of course. But what thing to find? What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to look who rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my...
yourself? I got a fresh box of bullets. Woo! Got fresh rounds in my rifle and strong coffee in my gut. What'd you say to another game? What's up? Big shot? Won't say no, let's fire off a few. Happy days. Just like last time, whoever shoots the most bottles wins. Take, go. Poor shit. You see that? Mmm, boy. Oh, I'm taking plenty of notes. That's just how it goes when you poke the beast. Wanna try it again, though? Raised stakes. You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. We'll do the birds again. First to knock four out of heaven gets the win. Stand close. As soon as you see him, start shooting. Wait for... For it. There they go now. Oh, trying to cheat your corner, huh? Yeah! <laughs> Decent try, but not quite. Been doing this a while. Oh, well, you tried, but you lost. And now, you owe. Here. Enjoy it while you got it. Until the next round, I suppose. Okay then, girl. Okay, take it time. easy. Ha! Molly? Oh, hi, Arthur. You see miles away. I'm fine. Anyway, not my business, I guess. All right then, Arthur. <laughs> He's gonna be okay. Nobody would harm a child. It'll be okay, I promise. It'll be okay. Going to be okay. <laughs> you okay, Arthur? We're gonna find him, Karen. You better. I swear. We're gonna get him back. Stop saying that, all of you. I promise. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Uh huh. Hi, Hosea. Come on! 
on, folks. Time to eat. Hi, Molly. Hello. How you doing? I'm fine. Okay. Folks are worried about you, that's all. Okay. You people want to eat or not? 